Hello again, this is the Don with episode 6 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And, um, just pulled that iron out of the furnace here. And made myself... What did I do that for? Uh, made myself a little bit of armor. Not quite enough, unfortunately, to make the rest of it. But this will have to do for the time being. Um, it is night time and it appears that there's a wolf right outside the door. Whoa! <laughs> that rather frightened me. Um, he's got red eyes, which presumably means he's an angry wolf. He's not, I'm guessing, a friendly wolf. There are two of them. And they are both growling quite loudly at me. <laughs> um... Well now. <laughs> gotcha. Um, well, that was quite loud, and they are down. However, there's still a growl out there, which sounds to me like there are probably more of them. <laughs> Um, alright, well for right now, what I would really like is some food, but I unfortunately don't have any. So for the time being, whilst it's still dark, I think I'll continue my mining operations and try and get something. Um, whether it's equipment like um, gold or iron or whatever because I need to get a full set of armor I need some gold for the powered rail tracks and um, I need some iron for the rest of the railway tracks and um, for lots of other stuff so um, I think I'll cut and pick it up again once I have some of these items be right back. okay guys I've um Back again, I've expanded my cave just that little bit more, and I've finally found something decent. Um, I think that diamond. Let's see how much of it I have. And uh, we shall... Oh, bugger, it's just iron again. Ah oh, well, at least it's something, I suppose. But what what does diamond look like in this texture pack? I do not know. Um, I was kind of hoping that was it because then that would at least be something to report. But no, as yet, still nothing to report. So I suppose I'll continue digging, and I'll be right back soon. Well then, I've found something else. Um, there's a chest buried in the gravel down here with 10 ink sacks and 4 raw fish. Hmm. Lovely. Well, let's continue. Well, no, I, um, <laughs> appear to have found something. I have cleverly left the area slightly dark enough for mobs to begin, to begin spawning. So, um, perhaps I should light it up a bit like that. And uh, dispose of this guy before he gets too many ideas because we don't really want um, mobs to start coming down here. Um, I'm so accustomed to playing on peaceful, you know, with um, all my Minecraft creations that you tend to forget that mobs do actually spawn in the real game. There we go. And it wasn't even a special mod either, it was mob, sorry, mob, not mod, mob, it wasn't even a special mob, it was a, um, just a boring old zombie. Um, anyway, let's, I might film mining for a bit so you can see how much fun I've been having for the past few minutes, trying to get something found, and I keep on running out of uh, thingamajigs, um, picks because I'm using the crappy old stone picks and that's because I'm trying to conserve as much uh, uh, 
iron as I can. Alright, that's enough for now. And I did find a bit more iron, so we'll put the rest of that on fire. And yes, I'm also making some smooth stone. I don't exactly know what I'll be using the smooth stone for yet, but I am sure I'll think of something. I would suggest it'll be for buttons and, you know, pressure pads and things the like. But I don't have any specific idea in mind yet. Well now, what else to talk about? Whilst the, um, the Yogbox patch was still coming out, I had a little bit more time to work on my adventure map, which I am very, very uh, happy with so far. Um, essentially, I was waiting until the release of Pistons to finish off the adventure map, because of course they will come in a lot of handy for a lot of um, puzzles. Um, my map is a quite a detailed build, um, and I think it's got a pretty good story to it as well. It is the second map in its series, um, the first one was kind of similar I suppose in the sense that it um, doesn't really feature jumping puzzles per se, it's just more of an adventure, a, a game narrated story almost. I don't know how dark this is on YouTube, let's see, that should help. Um, yeah, and the new adventure map will be very similar to that as well. It's essentially a storyline which happens to go happens to be played out in a game. Well, that iron there will certainly come in handy. There was a reasonable amount of that too, which is good to see. Stone, and I guess I'll eventually be going to the nether in this map, but I don't know exactly when yet. Probably not for quite a long time. I'd like to find some hearts. Uh, there are apparently uh, items called hearts you can find in the game, which, um, as you can see, oh, thanks to the mod box pack, that is, as you can see, I only have half the, na half the hearts I normally would have in a regular game of Minecraft. The heart item you can find increases the maximum health value that you can obtain. So the more hearts, the more hits I can take. It's essentially an HP stat like you would have in um, uh, any other game, or any other RPG style game. Just adds another level of difficulty because of course at the very beginning of the game it's normally fairly hard anyway. But the fact that you have only half the HP, fee, HP before you die um, means you die very easily. And um, if you ever catch fire, <laughs> forget about it, you've got no chance. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, let's see, shall I have enough room for it? I'll do it on this end, I think. Yeah, this end. The other thing I would like to do, now is that dirt? Yes, it is dirt. Very good. Hmm. No, actually, I won't put it there. 
kaputt. so mobs don't spawn but I'll also put some saplings down there we go so now I just need to give those little guys a bit more light Actually, no, I think trees often don't like to grow if you have things directly like that, but they do grow like that. I've noticed when placing saplings for my adventure map, um, trying to make them grow with bone meal, they don't tend to grow when there's something um, either directly to the side, but they don't mind growing when there are stuff to the corners. I, I don't know, it, it's not always the case. Sometimes it just seems to make the bone mill more likely to kick in, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, what else? Let's go upstairs. And I won't cut this time, just so you can see just how long this passage is. I might go upstairs and see if it's daytime yet. And if it is, I'd like to go outside. and up we go this is going to be a lot more enjoyable once I get my minecart track in process um, as you can see I have collected a few iron but still nowhere near enough no, I still have yet a ways to go for that speaking of which yes I did Bring my iron ore with me. I'll, I'll put that in the furnace upstairs, maybe. Nearly there. Oops. And of course, it's night time out here. That's okay. That's okay. I um, I I will probably cut now as soon as I put all this stuff away. Just so I can sleep until dawn. There we go. And hmm, let's see, that'll probably do for now. Alright, I'll sleep until dawn. Catch you on the cut. Okay then, it is um morning has broken. Um, hesitantly I step outside my door and there's a zombie on fire and a skeleton on fire which I'll collect the arrows and the bones and a creeper let's get the creeper haha <laughs> gotcha and oh my god, those squids look horrible in this texture pack. Look at those things. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um. Yeah. Let's just collect the feather from that dead zombie just before. And um, my next task is to go upstairs and to work a little bit more on my tower. And what I should do after that, I think, is um, maybe link up the underground tunnel, the subterranean tunnel, with the tower. So that I don't have to make this <laughs> trip upstairs every time. Over there. Oh, it's a baby cow. 
That's right, we have the baby animals mod as part of this. Good god, it makes a noise, doesn't it? Alright, well. Oop, creeper! Whoa! I wasn't anywhere near him. Ooh, an underground lake. Down here. Hmm. See, this is where all the caves are, up on the surface. Why did I not see them? <laughs> Perhaps that is what I should have done, just um, continued digging down an existing cave once I found one. But... I just did it my way. <laughs> Alrighty then, so... Oops. Oh, okay, I didn't pull it out of the box, did I? There we go. Just get a couple of trees. Okay, and what I need... Actually, no, I won't use those. I'll... Use these ones. Like so. There we go. So now I need to place that guy there. I'm a great believer in the spiral staircase, by the way, so this will be spiraling around. Whilst I'm up here, I might just get rid of this stupid thing too. Hmm, quite reach it. <laughs> On a side note, um, I find now that when I play um, FPS games and the like, I, um, I find myself holding shift when approaching precipices. I, I suspect it's um, Minecraft's subtle influence there. Uh, does, does anybody else do the same? My suspicion would be yes. Realistically, I think they should implement that into a few more games, though. I mean, it makes perfect sense that when crouching, you'll be paying more attention to the edge of what you're standing on and making sure that you don't go over it. So, it's kind of logical that, um, that it does work that way.
is where a lot of my stone will be going into the construction of this guy. Incidentally, I'm um, not yet pursuing my quest because the one thing Ooh. I need to pursue it, I have not yet found. That one thing is gold. Um, and if you know how Minecraft works, I'm sure you can figure out what that might be for, remembering what I have previously planted. Um, but yeah, as I said, I haven't yet found it, so I can't yet go on that quest. Or at least if I do, I won't be quite as successful. So bear with me on that. I haven't forgotten it, and I will be continuing with it. Oh, bloody hell, I'm, I'm really failing at this placing of blocks tight spots like that. It's a pretty nice view I've got from up here. Um, yeah. We gotta make sure it's on fast so that we can see it properly. Incidentally, if this um, video's performance is any indication, I suspect my reason for the subpar performance I've experienced so far has been, in part at least, due to me using 32-bit Java on a 64-bit machine. And, um, well, rectifying that seems to have corrected that particular problem. I'm not experiencing any slowdown yet. Of course, now that I've said that, <laughs> I wonder what will happen next time. Oh. And it will start raining. The big problem I have with rain is that it is bloody loud. I dig down to there, then it will go into that. If I dig down here, yes, I have one level there, so... I don't know if you can hear me speaking, I certainly can't hear myself. <laughs> We shall persevere, and um, yeah, if, if you can't hear me when it's raining, let me know in the description, and I'll try not to play whilst it's raining, or at least to go inside or something. So, this is the beginnings of our tower, but for now, it might be best if I'm to go inside. Once again, to my mineshaft. 
I can hear a bear and a whoa. That's not good. I'm nearly dead. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Um, as you can tell, <laughs> I kind of jumped at that one. That was um. Well, it, it should have been h half expected, of course, but I, I jumped regardless. <laughs> Well then, um, I think that'll probably be enough for this episode, and next episode I think I'll probably continue my tunnel from the above tower to below down here, and um, well hopefully I'll find some gold. So we shall continue with that objective next level, uh, next episode, and I hope to see you then. I hope you like this video, if you do, like it in action as well. Um, if not, don't. See you later.